A Kalkaska couple got quite the surprise last night. How they delivered their new baby on the side of the road. Those details tonight at 11. We start this evening taking a live look at Frankfurt with our Doppler 9 and 10 Skycam. Skies have broken up for them, but most are still dealing with some clouds. More will see breaks of sun as the evening continues, and tomorrow you can expect warmer temperatures. Doppler 9 and 10 meteorologist Emily Kennedy has all the details and first weather at 6. Emily. This Kalkaska couple found themselves in a very unexpected situation last night. It was right around baby Andriella's due date, and her mother started having contractions. The couple rushed to the hospital, but they didn't make it in time. Not everyone had a smooth welcome weekend at Mount Pleasant Central Michigan University. This coming week marks the beginning of classes at CMU, and traditionally the weekend before is full of parties and celebration. After days of searching the California wilderness, a missing hiker has been found. Hiker Mayuki Harwood was missing in the Sierra National Forest for more than a week. Finally, she was found on Saturday morning. Ryan Webb has more details from New York. A special fundraiser for a little girl in Traverse City today. The Grand Traverse Metro Fire Department held a barbecue fundraiser for five-year-old Caitlin Posey. She is the daughter of Captain Tony Posey and was recently diagnosed with leukemia. In this update, new details following the drowning of a suburban Detroit fire chief. A man has now pleaded guilty to being intoxicated while driving the boat Southfield Fire Chief Keith Rowley jumped from. His name is William Jeffrey Jr. of Troy. On July July 31st, Rowley jumped into Lake St. Clair to retrieve a hat. He wasn't wearing a life jacket and his body was found a few days later. Jeffrey Jr. pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor operating a vessel while intoxicated. He will be sentenced on September 29th. In Texas, a suspect has been arrested after the fatal shooting of a sheriff's deputy. The officer was killed while pumping gas near a Houston last night. It was exactly 10 years ago today that Hurricane Katrina battered the Gulf Coast. Katrina flooded 80% of New Orleans when the levees failed and killed more than 1,800 people. Thousands, though, have still not returned to their neighborhoods. Awesome, Shannon. Thank you. So, Emily, tell us about what we're going to see. Warmer temperatures for the rest of the week, right? Yes. Uh, we're done with it. We're done with this cold. Yeah, we're done with that cold spell that we have. A beautiful week ahead. Details at 11.